Hello and welcome to the Geek Den for issue 101 of the Star Trek Starship Collection and today we're going to be having a look at the Bajoran Freighter um, seen in many 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 episodes throughout Star Trek as obviously different ships but mo most noticeably as uh, a Bajoran ship uh, this is the box once again I've got a little crushed box but that doesn't matter because the, f the model itself is fine so let's have a little look through the book um, the stand is fairly easy to put together uh, we have the normal uh, specifications here for it uh, then we've got some nice CG shots here obviously all you in universe information here uh, some more shots of it here uh, here Dr. DS9 uh, then we have here now there's been so many different variations of this ship there's been parts added to it uh, it's been in Starship for a fairly long time it's actually appeared in all of the series ex except the original series um, and then we get on to the hardest working model in Star Trek which I got a funny thing well it is it just is it's, it's as you can see it's appeared in Next Generation Deep Space Nine Voyager and Enterprise uh, but it actually started life off as uh, as this ship here uh, it's had wings attached to it we are getting the smuggler ship that is to come uh, we've seen uh, previews of it so we know that we're definitely getting the smuggler ship uh, if we get the uh, the Jovis is another matter uh, I'd like that one I'd like all the different um, variations of it uh, then we've got casting of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Uh, this is quite interesting. So it goes through the Bible of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, which is like their sort of backstory and what they've got to follow. Um, originally, they obviously wanted Ro Laren in the role, which um, here she is here, uh, in the role of Kieran Reese, But obviously they, they changed that instead because she turned down the role. Uh, so this really goes into the explanation of how they come up with the Jem Hadar, how they basically put the foundations down for the series. Uh, and then we have all the trivia and that. Obviously the next issue is the D5 Battlecruiser, the Klingon one. We will bring you it here, so click to subscribe. So, let's have a look at the model. And we are back and it is out of the packaging and it looks really really good i'm quite surprised you know a freighter i wouldn't have thought it'd be uh this sort of thing uh one two things i've got to point out one is um one is uh top section is die cast and um, i'll come along thing but the, the the main thing is the size this is a big model um we've been we've, we've been getting so many of the smaller uh, the smaller size models um, but this is massive in, in fact it's it's so big it actually overlaps the base um, when it's on and I'll just show you that now so you, you can't even see the base it actually overlaps the base there so it's fairly big uh, there, there's the, uh, the number underneath there but we'll come and have a look at that in a second let's get some uh, closer look there's some really nice detailing on this ship um, literally all around uh, it's it's you can tell that this has been look this has been uh, well designed uh, I know some are missing details and stuff like that but you get models like this and you think they've really put in the time or there just isn't much detail but when you look at this quite closely you can see all the little little holes and the little nooks that are in here and I mean it's just it's just really really nice uh, there's the back there also as well I've got to add now this the sensor pod on the top or the this little pod on the top here it's actually got detail now you would have thought they they would make just made it smooth underneath but actually when you tip it upside down I don't know if you can see through there but I'll just uh, get my hand out of the way No, it doesn't want to zoom up. Uh, 
Nope. But um, anyway, sorry about that. Um, as you tilt it, you can just about see here. You can just about see that there is actually a lot of uh, detailing underneath the sensor pod. Uh, especially when you put the light through it. So let's put the light through it here. Um, let me put the light. Okay, so the light's on, and you can actually now see that there is detail underneath that sensor pod. So it sits like this, and you, you can't really see it, really, unless you get right up close, and then you can actually make out there's quite a lot of detail underneath that. And they put that in, and I mean, that's a nice touch. They didn't really have to do that, but the light shining on it, you can actually see that it's a sort of a brown, metallic y speckly colour, which a lot of these the paint apps seem to apply now. Uh, we've got some nice grey areas there, we've got these little bits at the bottom. It's just a it's just a, a, a nice model, really. Um, let's put it back on here, and uh, yeah, you can you can really see that. But yeah, it's a really nice one. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Click to subscribe and we'll see you at the next video.